uh, playing as many championships as possible and just go out there every game with the mindset that we're going to win. Obviously, the sexual championship the last couple of years, you've been there. How much does that motivate you guys? Uh, last year, we came up short, and we're just using that as motivation this year to get back there and hopefully play New Haven again. What's it like? As the only senior that's not playing football, I mean, how much leadership do you roll really take, in, especially the offseason? Uh, yeah, in the offseason, I have to be more vocal than ever because there's so many younger kids that are looking up to me, and there's no other seniors there to be a leader or anything, so I just have to take a big role in that. How much do you, I mean, enjoy it where the guys come back from football and it's ready to go? How much How much does the balance of those two things happen? Yeah, um, they just bring, like, a whole bunch of toughness to our team, and they bring the winning spirit to us just right over from football. So hopefully they keep winning and keep taking that all the way to state. As a basketball player, how much do you kind of want to match them? Because they, they obviously have yeah. a lot of success. How much do you want to be like, oh, we did it too? Oh, for sure, yeah. It'd be great for them too to have two successful seasons back to back. It'd be wonderful. Um, we, we, we always set pretty high expectations, right. especially in our sixth year now. Um, you know, last few years we played in the section championship. We, we, we have those goals again, but we really got to focus on day one. We've we graduated um, three seniors that are with us in the rebuilding process, and um, so, but we returned seven or eight guys off that off that sectional uh, um, sectional game last year. So, we're um, we're really focused on day one, which now is probably going to get extended a little bit because our football team's in the sectional championship, and and seven of our eight guys are playing football. So it's. Um, it's a good thing for us because it teaches them to compete and everything. So we're, 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 we're just focused on day one and come in and play our style of ball. What are your strengths going to be this year? Well, we, we always kind of hang our hat on defense. I mean, we've been ranked number one and two in the state last two years in defense. Um, we're going to try to um, speed it up a little bit offensively. Um, however, we're just going to um, do what we do best, and that's, and that's defend and try to play our pace and, um, and hopefully score a little bit more. As you, obviously, as a basketball coach, you want to see your players out there, but you also want them to have success in football and all the skills it kind of provides. I mean, how do you balance those two things? Well, I'm out there coaching. Okay. So, so um, how do you balance all of it? Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I have a really good relationship with uh, Andy Thomas there, and we, I, I just believe that the kids playing in a sectional championship game the last two years for basketball helps him. Okay. And I think that them playing in a sectional championship in football is going to help us from a competitive standpoint. Um, the style that we play is very ag very aggressive on defense. Um, we emphasize lifting a lot. We emphasize being tough. And, and so I just think that, um, you know, it, it, it just plays it, it just plays in our hands both ways, football, basketball, basketball, football. And, they, you know, for us, it works. Other places it may not work. I don't I don't know. But for us, it's a it's a plus for us. And it's it's helped us get to where we are. And I believe it's, um, you know, having seven or eight guys that have played now sectional championships in football, sectional champion games in basketball and baseball um, is a is a plus.